Hey guys, Missy from Ohio here with lifestyleofprosperitynetwork.com. Real quick, I just wanted to show you how to turn a photo to grayscale in GIMP Shop and also go over with maybe a few reasons as to why someone would do that and kind of a few little things that you can do with your photo. Now this is real simple. Just go up to image, go to mode, come down here to grayscale. Okay, now the most obvious reason as to why somebody would do this is because they like black and white photos. It's pretty simple. Now, I like to take my black and white photos and add a little bit of color to something that just pops out. And you do this by going back to image and mode, and you're going to make it a color photo. It's going to acknowledge color information, but you've gotten rid of all the color information, so it's going to stay black and white. Now, you do have to go to that so you can add color. If you do not go to the RGB and you keep it in black and white mode, you try to add red, green, blue, it's just going to stay in grayscale. But now I can come over to here, grab a bright red color, and I'm just going to real quick go over. See, I left the opacity down, and I'm in my paintbrush. The opacity is just how, I'll say how thick the color is, if it blocks it or not. See, I'm blocking the image, and before it was, you could see through the color. Now, obviously, I just don't want to scribble all over my photo. I take and grab the fuzzy select tool. And when you're working with an image and you want to select a certain area, I'll take I blow it up rather big because it makes it look nicer. You can just get more exact with this. Now, the threshold, real quick, it selects a small area when you have the threshold down low. If you bring the threshold up, I'll take it to right here. It's going to select more of an area. See how it's selected a whole lot? I really don't want to do that. I'm going to bring this down. And that's still a lot. I don't want to select that much. I'm trying to stay within the hand. And this is just all a trial and error type situation. You just get comfortable with it. And, you know, you mess around with it. The more you mess around with it, the better you get at it. And that's even still too much. And to get rid of something like a small mistake, the easiest way is you hit Control Z and it will, that's like that undoes the last action you did. Now I'm going to have this right here about it. 3.2 and that's real good and if you want to select more you you want to add to that you just hit shift and you click it again and you keep click clicking while holding down the shift button and I like to go little by little and I can easily sit here for a half an hour to do something like this but I think you get the idea of what to do. You just keep clicking until it fills in the area that you want to fill in. And I'm going to come over here to my paintbrush. And the size is good. It's a, The opacity is 100%. That's going to look fake. I don't want to do that. You want it to show the, the grayscale shading in it a good bit. Because that will add like shadow and everything to your photo within the color. And I'm going to, a 10 to 15 might be pretty good. Yeah, that's still even a little light actually. So I'm going to bring it up to closer to 25. And that's probably real good. 
And I colored over it again. I don't like that, so I'm going to take that away. And I'm actually going to bring the opacity up to closer to 30. And that looks pretty good. Now I'm just going to take and deselect everything and bring this down to the size that you would be viewing it as. And I really like the way that looks. I would just select more and then add more color. Another thing you can do, see that right there is a little bit hard to, to select what I did select. But another way of selecting stuff, if it's more of a solid shape, you can grab your like a free select tool. A lot of times they call it a lasso. And again, I'm going to do this real quick, but you can blow it up even more your image to get more precise in here. And that's typically what I would do if I was to be doing this for myself and wanting to save it. But I'm just actually wanting to save time right now. So I'm going to go through here and connect it. I'm going to come out here to pick a color. I'm going to go to the browns and I'm going to, he's got real light hair. I know it's more blonde. And we're going to try this real quick. And for hair, you want, you want the opacity to be down real low. Hair is a little bit more difficult, but can be done. This is rather light. This will make your photo look a lot lighter than what it is. I'm going to bring this up to maybe 15. Well, that's a little bit. Nope, that's size. Never mind. I'm going to bring this. There we go. And that's real decent. That's maybe a little bit more than I would like can always undo that with control Z come back down a little bit and that's real good it shows the shadow and everything you can also color over it again if you don't think you've gotten enough it'll keep filling it in and it'll be less and less opaque every time but I think you get the picture of how to modify a black and white photo or rather a grayscale photo. And that's about it guys. Just use your creativity and explore and you'll be able to create really nice photos. So I thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe because there will be more tuto tutorials to follow. You guys have a great day and share this video. Thanks guys.